Hey guys, Game to Person here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how you can get the official PS4 remote play for your PC. And yeah, I just realized yesterday PS4 remote play, the official version was coming to PC. So uh, yeah, it literally came out today and you just have to update your PS4 and download it. And I'm going to show you how to do that just now. And yeah, I didn't realize that with the official one, you can't use mouse and keyboard. But with the unofficial one, if you buy the premium version, you can use mouse and keyboard. As you can see in the bottom right, my PS4 is updating to the latest update and what you want to do is go onto your Google Chrome or Google or whatever I said whatever in the last video and I was like why did I say that but uh, yeah go into Google and then type in PC remote play it's it's the same thing pretty much and as you can see it says it's out tomorrow but that 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 news article was yesterday but yeah it's out now you click the one that says remote play .dl .playstation.net. that one that's the official one Click it, Windows PC, obviously, because I'm on a Windows PC. You can do this on Mac, as you can tell, right there. And you want to click the installer. Yep. You want to select your language. I don't know why I, I, why it's set to United States, but let's just set to United Kingdom. <laughs> it doesn't make much of a difference, but yeah, that's it. Click next. I accept. Next, next, next. And once that's done, then you'll be able to use it. It's pretty much the same way as setting up in the last thing and yeah I'm gonna show you again because I might as well and then you click finish once it's finished and as you can see there's an icon on your desktop it says PS4 remote play you obviously want to open that up let's check in for update oh yeah and you need to connect your controller to the PC like like in the other version so I'm gonna do that now all right, that's connected, and I want to change the settings to make it 720p and 60fps, obviously. And yep, yeah, okay. Then click start, and then type in your email address, and your sign into your PSN. And you want to click sign in. And once it's sign in, it should sh it should search via internet. But if it doesn't, then you can register manually. Like it's the same way to do it. Yeah, if it doesn't work via internet, just register it manually and it says please wait so we'll just wait and you want to want to go to your settings then where is it remote play connection settings add device and then you just type it in 9465-0527 register registering as you can see it says please wait and it is registered what okay now it's connecting as you can see, if it says connection has been lost, just try start again and it should work. And as you can see, it is working. There is a slight delay, kind of. But it is working now. Whoa, it looks pretty cool. I've never seen this before. So you can press the PS button, share button. You can click on the screen and do it if you want. And options button, that doesn't do anything. And full screen, there's a full screen button if you want to press that. And it tells you your battery status, so that's pretty good. Well, it's plugged in, so that means that it's obviously going to be charging. And yeah, as you can see, it's working, and you can tell the delay. It, the sound delay is not that bad, actually. It was it was worse in the unofficial version, so if you have the unofficial version, you can get the official version now, and it's free. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, and also subscribe for more gaming videos. I might do a live stream today, so... Come and watch that, and yeah, thanks for watching, and hope this helped you. Goodbye.